Hello everybody and welcome back to Isaac. We are jumping in again for another curated run, this one with a very interesting theme. So we're theming it around two main items, the Celestial Tail from the God Mode mod. All regular keys are now doubled and a 50% chance for chests to become Eternal. And then we're also pairing that with the White Key from Battle Fantasy, which is going to spawn Eternal chests in certain special rooms, give us a 50% chance to conserve keys when using them on Eternal chests, and the items that are spawned by Eternal chests will cycle between the original item and angel pool items. We're also going with Guppy's Tail for extra chests and Mum's Key to give us a healthy supply of keys to use on chests. I think this will be pretty interesting and we actually get a first chest in this room here. Nice. So we'll see if we can get an item. Queen of Clubs there is interesting. We did get an item and we got Adam's Rib or Bravery here. So Adam's Rib is going to be attacking an enemy um, when it's on full HP, launches a knife down on them, which is pretty good. I'm pretty sure it's very, very similar to an item from um, Risk of Rain, if I remember correctly. But yeah, every time we hit an enemy, the first time we hit them, it does a knife, and that knife does a little bit of damage. Um, I think it's two times our tier damage, as well as it does a little bit of radius damage, actually. The damage it does is not just localized to one place. Um, and as I've sort of said, we've got Guppy's Tail, so we're going to be getting uh, random chests on room clears, and some of those will end up being eternal chests. What the hell was that? Ah! Damn. Okay, we got Pride Pin here. I don't really know why we got Pride Pin there, but I'll take it. Um, hmm, I would very, very much like to grab some HP. Uh, we're not going to be taking item room items, by the way. Um, I, just to limit the, sort of add a bit of challenge to this run. Dude, what the hell's going on with that thing? Um, that's from God Mode, I think. Oh, we got items already here. We got Mum's Shampoo, or we got the Orb of Radiance. An active item on use summons a ring of spectral piercing uh, godhead tears, oh my god, that rotate around you um, for a small period of time. 12 second recharge. That seems pretty good. I like the idea behind that. Okay, let's just not die now. Let's just not die. But let's, uh... Oh my goodness. Okay, that's that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. I like that. I'd like one more coin, please. That's more than one more coin, so I'm happy with that. And that chest tapped out straight away. I would also really like to get um, the electric dice just to see if it works with this. So let's try and uh, try and grab that. Oh, beautiful. If the electric dice works with this active, which electric dice basically means that uh, active can do one charge, two charges, or three charges just randomly. If it can do more, then it's going to be pretty good, damn good. It was good to see as well that in that last room it synergized. Oh, dude. Mum's key is just awesome. And a golden key this floor, just in case we get more eternal uh, thingies, is going to be really, really nice. You can see the radius of this, though. The way it like just chain reacts off of enemies. I like it a lot. E more keys, dude. I tested this out a little bit without Mum's key, and I felt like I needed it. Now, the game has been mighty, mighty generous, and I feel like maybe it was uh, a bit OTT. Maybe I didn't really need it so much, because it's uh, it's going well as is right now. Uh, we get Spoiled Milk here, uh, which we are going to grab, I think. Spoiled Milk is tears up. Isaac can shoot spectral tears that will slow down enemies and bounce off of them. Yeah. I like the idea. Cool. We go down. And of course, we are just looking for more and more chests that can come our way. We have plenty of keys to work with here. Ooh, we got Fruit Cellar, I think this is. Yeah, Fruit Cellar. Uh, so we are taking item room items. Let's just open up this chest. And hope. Hope and pray for a lovely little uh, little item at the end. Well, whatever item is, we're going to have to take it because it's in the doorway if one does spawn. Okay, it has moved now. That's good. Oh my god, we got golden keys again. Yes, that's exactly what we want. Oh my god. This run's kind of nutty. I could take no. I, I think I am going to take no, you know, so we don't get more angel uh, actives. Because this one's pretty good. I quite like it. Hey, and we got ourselves Immaculate Conception here or Tears Up. I think we're going to go with the screw here. Immaculate Conception ain't that useful for us. Why did I do this in this room? What was I thinking? I just saw these TNT barrels and I thought they were enemies because they were glowing red. I kind of crapped myself and just and just went for it. This fruit seller's place is interesting looking floor. Ooh, I'm loving this Adam's rib we got going on here. We got the old rattle here as well. Why not? Whoa. 
That's a lot of tears for some reason. I'm not exactly sure where all those are coming from. And our rattle's doing some good stuff as well. It seems that on occasion... Oh, we got a pile of keys. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, that's an error room? My bad. Dude, what are these little freaks? And why do they... Why do they create such an insane amount of stuff? Yeah, I didn't realize that was an error room. My bad. Although we've not missed out on that much. We've basically just missed out on the boss item. And the devil deal, of which I wasn't going to take anyways. So. I think both of these chests have tapped out. We missed out on the potential of some eternal chest there. That was unfortunate. The pile of keys tricked me. It tricked me. But I guess we're skipping that floor. We didn't miss out on too much there, I guess. These little chest monsters need to absolutely frick off. They are awful. <laughs> also, there is a, a chest over there we can't get. I'm going to see if I can uh, disable them um, at some point. Not right now, but I will see at some point. Because I don't want to be playing with them the whole time. There are some weird ideas in God Mode. It's an interesting mod. Compass is kind of nice. We'll grab that. So, we just pile of keys in here, I guess. And it just, like... I don't really... I don't really get pile of keys. Okay, it only, use, it only actually uses it when there's a door to use it on, I see. Oh, Adam's Rib doing some great stuff there. This freak again. Dude, we have so many keys this time around. This is wild. The fool. Give me an item. Oh my goodness. Mum's key. I didn't think you'd be so strong. Okay, this time we got ourselves... Late delivery. I'm just going to take that because I, I, it's, it's quality 4. That's all I need to know. And then let's have a little look what it does. Late delivery. Uh, tears up. Spawn an item after dealing 2,500 damage. Spawns more items but for an additional 5,000 damage each time. Okay. And it's got a little bar there to tell us our progress by the looks of things. That seems pretty good. It's a quality four, so I imagine it's pretty good. I like being able to see our progress. That's rather nice. And I like the rat the fact that Rattle here is uh, copying our tier effects. That's pretty cool. More keys. God damn it. More keys. I'd rather have chests at this point, game. Like, before when I was doing it, Guppy's Tail was just going wild and giving me so many chests. And now we're getting keys galore. Also, absolutely nowhere to use this pile of keys so far. Like, every room we've gone to is just not compatible with using the pile of keys. Get out of here, you weirdo. Item. Oh, I didn't mean to take that, but we have this friend now. Oh, I love that. That's He's, like, not super strong, but it's pretty good. I like it. The rattle is doing some good stuff. Yeah, it's not crazy powerful. It's just it's just powerful. I think we're going to stick with Angel Deal considering the theme of this run. Should be going to every room really. Try to get some extra chests, but I'll uh, I'll stay true on the course right now. Ooh, we got a planetarium this floor, and I have a mod that tells me as such as well, which is kind of nice. Just so uh, if I don't explore the whole floor, I know to explore for a. Uh, Planetarium regardless, which I quite like having. Oh my god, this Adam's Rib item is really, really good too. Hey, another eternal chest, and we got an item straight away. We get Spirit Sword. Um, do we want the Spirit Sword? I mean it's yeah, we've got the we've got the Spirit Sword Synergy mod on, so I don't see why not. It's, it's a bit transformative, it's a bit different. Yeah, I do have the mod on that adds a bunch of synergies to this uh to Spirit Sword as well, which I think is going to make it a bit more fun to use. Potentially could get some interesting synergies alongside it. I can't remember exactly what synergies are added, mind you, but... There's a good amount in there, dude. The I actually can't believe it. Like, on my test run with this setup, I had, like, zero keys and there was eternal chests everywhere. And I was like, okay, this isn't going to work for the video. This will be really boring. I have run out of keys. And then this time around, it's just like, do you know what? Mum's key... Is it's just giving you a thousand keys to work with. I don't mind it. 
I need to find a place to use my pile of keys as well. I've not been paying attention to that. There you go. And that's an actual red room as well, is it? Yep, both of those are. Ooh, the soul. Thank you. Ah! Ah! I'm trying to get rid of this pile of keys so I don't just keep thinking about it. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Ooh, range is really nice. That's actually going to help us with Spirit Sword. Unfortunately, our range isn't great right now, so it's currently it's not helping us by much. We have a lot to work with in an arcade here, so let's go to this red arcade. I don't know how many red hearts I have, though, so this is not ideal. Not ideal at all. These bloody things need to back off. They're everywhere. They're so unbelievably common. What? Well, anyways, why am I getting notifications for, for Steam when I have... I'm pretty sure I have the, the thingy turned off. Okay, that chest is tapped out. Let's go see what our planetarium has to offer. Oh, we've got an eternal chest in here first, though. Can't forget about that. Dude, get out of here. They just... I don't mind them existing, but why do they do that massive radial attack when they die? That's crazy. Absolutely wild. It's too much, man. I wonder if Planetarium will spawn an eternal chest as well. It didn't. We got Jupiter. Amazing. I'm literally not even going to take it. <laughs> Jupiter is not good. I'm going to wait and hope we get a reroll. Yeah, Jupiter just makes everyone sad. The, the, the speed down is just never worth it. I also am kind of curious to see what my health's looking like right now because I feel like I've been hit a lot. Dude, did both those mushrooms exploded? And both those mushrooms... Got them ex uh, both those mushrooms got destroyed, sorry, and both of them exploded. What are the chances? We are getting a lot of HP from the, the chests though, which is nice. You get out of here, bomb. Thorn ring's kind of interesting, but nerves can be better. Ooh, we're definitely taking the, the butterfly. That's gonna be very, very nice. It's pretty useless in that room. Oh, okay. Don't know why that... Oh, dude, the dagger thing is just so good. It seems like if the chest's already opened, those dudes don't do that radial pattern thing. So I guess that's the, the, that's the catch here. I try and kill them before they touch the chest. Or before I open the chest. I, uh, sorry, after I open the chest, I guess. But, meh. They're weird. I can see that I've almost got my bar filled. I'm just over halfway for my, my free item. Which, for a quality 4 item, seems fairly slow. But then again, I'm not doing the, the most damage. I don't have crazy damage, do I? Come here, Golden Penny. Thank you. Sadly, no Eternal Chest in the shop. I'd like it if there were, but there isn't. We'll go to our boss. But we've got some good items thus far. We've got this Adam's Rib. Uh, we've got the Screw. We've got this little uh, item giver thing on damage. We've got the spirit sword. We've got the soul. We've got the butterfly. I think we've got a pretty good uh, selection of stuff. Good, good. Get the rainbow fragment for some rainbow pennies. Always take the, the farting one last. Otherwise, you're going to be kind of screwed. Did I do a question of the day today? If I didn't uh, do a question of the day, what's your favourite chest in Isaac? And for a bonus, what's your favourite chest in any game? Like, what's a chest that just opening is just like, ooh, yeah, sort of thing. As in, like, do you know, like, um, like the, the Ocarina of Time chests in, um, in Zelda? Like, you saw those, and that was just like, oh, brings back so many memories. Right, another eternal chest there. Got another one here. That's a lot of money we don't need, game. That 
and pooped out another chest. I don't want to accidentally pick up this item here. Oh, both of those are tapped. Both of those are tapped. I don't need to pick up the money. What am I doing? I keep trying to pick up the money. I don't need it. Oh, dude, this is getting really annoying. Why is Steam notifying me that people are coming online? One second. Right, I'm set to offline now. I'm sorry, guys, but I just don't care when you're coming online or playing a game. It doesn't matter to me. Ooh. Ooh, we got Furton. I don't even know how Furton would work with this, but... It might not do anything, but I know for a fact it'll work with our spacebar item, so I'm still willing to take it and try that out. You can't catch me, but you can hit me, apparently, very easily. 43 keys, baby. Oh, I'd have my active ready. How do I... how does... My active keeps decharging itself on occasion. I'm not quite sure what that's about. Hey, I was having a feeling this would be double... Right, you guys need to count. Oh, yeah, there you go. Look. Although, does that remove the Godhead aura by the looks of it? That's not what I wanted. As long as you chests keep opening, I'm gonna be happy. What's this angel buddy doing? Is he is he giving me my item? That he is. That he is. Ooh, considering we get you so close to enemies, Salvation is a great one to grab. Salvation is just a really, really good, interesting item. Anyways, wait, we got a, a new room type over there? There's a room I do not recognize. Probably from God Mode, if I have to imagine. Nothing good in there. That is a lot of cards, my goodness. Not that I need any of them right now. That is not my focus. Right, quickly, let's go and grab the item room here. But yeah, Salvation's going to be really good for, like, bosses. We're getting up close and personal. And when we take damage, the radius gets larger. Which, we're taking a lot of damage at the minute, so helps us as well. Dude, the Adam's rib fell and broke that skull and spawned a hearst. How dare you. We got two chests here. Ooh, the crystal key. The crystal key. Is that worth getting active items? I don't think it is. I still like this active and I'm just I just like not getting other actives. <laughs> I'll be honest. Well that that just I've never had an eternal chest do that before. That chest didn't even open once. It just gave up right off the bat. Ooh, I didn't realise Wheel of Fortune could spawn these. Amnesia. Great. I don't know where that other room was now. It was somewhere to the left and then up, I'm pretty sure. Salvation's getting larger. Oh, Adam's rib. You beauty. This is an XL floor as well, so I don't know if I've been to both of the item rooms. I think I have now. Oh, dude, copper bombs. Can you not? I don't know what's going on with this room, I'll be honest. Ah, I spawned some red keys, I see. This seems like a fun room. What I wouldn't give to just be out of this room. Ugh. Oh, people that design these are silly gooses. These rooms ain't fun, people. You've got to know it when you test it. You've got to know it. Why? Why is this red dude not opening this? Oh, dude, I don't even care. Just, 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 just let me escape, please. Dude, why is it not? Why are they not opening? Why are they not opening? Right, we're bombing our way out of here. Fuck this shit. Oh, I don't care about the spikes. Get this room out of my life right now. That was goddamn gross. Yeah, I have no idea what the hell this room is. Ooh, seven's very, very good. Okay. God mode achieved. We've got three items here. 50% chance to remove a curse when entering a new stage. Grants a modifier to each stat at the beginning of the floor. Um, additional 5% blessing chance. We'll go for the bless. Oh, wait, that that's... Dude, what? 
I'm confused. I definitely should have taken the middle one. I didn't think it was a choice for some reason. Oh, dude, really? Just, just get me the hell out of here. Designing rooms like that are people that like to thieve joy. My rattle's firing off nice shots at the minute, which is good. Ooh, I got, an, uh, I got a little crawl space here. I also got Seraphim, so I've got some flight now, which is rather nice. Should be able to grab a few extra eternal chests on the way. Why am I picking up the coins? I don't need them. Oh my god. <clears throat> Mum's key is an absolutely absurdly good item. Like it's it's just one of those items that I I like I never think about when I'm thinking about like good items, but I, I would say that the 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 opportunity I'm not saying every time, but the opportunity for Mum's key, I, I think it can be better than Humbling Bundle. For a consumable game. You just get so much out of each chest. Like an absurd amount. Like, look at that. I mean, obviously we're getting double keys, which does increase our, our key economy at the minute. But just still, it's still getting an amazing amount. Where be our next angel item, please? We've also... Salvation has very much peaked. We've been hit a lot and it helped. Don't know where I'm going for the boss here, but I'm hoping for the best. Dude, copper bombs just don't like me. Yeah, at this point, I don't even need to pick up the keys, I'll be honest. They are but a worry of the past. Regular chest? Who'd have thought? Where's our bosses? I, I I saw them before we got amnesia. I saw them on the map. This isn't ideal. There you go. That's what I wanted. Ah, and the chest tapped out straight away. We're getting a lot of chests that are just tapping out very quickly. Here we go. Here's the boss. Right. Yeah. Bosses with salvation are going to be getting kind of destroyed here. And I'm pretty sure this is Mum here. Oh, man. The damage on her was absurd there. We have enough time to do boss rush if we'd like. Um, yeah, no thanks on you. I guess I'll take that. 25% damage multiplier, every new floor, 50% chance to gain a broken heart. We're pretty late into the run, so I, I, I could take that. What does that put our damage to? It's only a 1.75 increase in damage. That's just not enough to make it worthwhile, I don't think. Right, let's check out this and see if there's anything in here that could change my tune. Tears have a chance to wax enemies. Wax enemies freeze and burn. Leave fire when they die. Ooh, I like the idea of that. Let's go for it. I just think it's going to be a fairly easy um, boss rush here. Just because of the items we've got going on. Like, Salvation being at basically max now means that we're going to be hitting both enemies pretty reliably. Because, like, they, they spawn in here. Salvation goes off. Adam's rib apparently absolutely decimates all. And then, yeah, look, it hits him. Who gets waxed, so he gets frozen burned. There's fires for the next wave of enemies. That one just died literally instantly. This is a good combo of items right here. Oh, dude. The, the Adam's rib with the, the knives falling down, plus the fires on death here, is a mighty, mighty combo that I had not considered. We're able to pretty much insta-kill bosses and keep them very frozen in place. Oh, we got another item here. Great. I don't know if he's going to wait for the room to clear. Nope, he just sits around for a little bit before he does it. Fruity Plum, don't mind if I do. So it's every 5,000 damage at the moment, which is another very good reason to do boss rush, because I imagine we're probably going to do another 5,000 damage over the course of this boss rush, right? 
nearly at least, you'd think. We're literally insta-killing bosses here, like. Oh my goodness. This is absolutely wild. Yeah, we've, we've done like a quarter of a bar, so maybe, maybe we won't get a full 5,000 off of this, but we're going to get a decent amount, right? And Salvation's doing some good stuff. Every time we're swinging, Salvation's going. I'm going to miss when Salvation's this size in the next war, you know. I'm really going to miss it. Salvation being this large is uh, is very, very nice. But we have to get hit so much to get it up to this point. Wow, that was uh, that was quick. That was pretty speedy. Okay, we got our ball o tar. Don't mind if I do. Grab a golden heart as well. Okay, keep going. We've got plenty more potential et eternal chests in the running here. I should probably go into that uh, thingy room there because the chance for eternal chests in um, in those rooms is reasonably high. Well, the chance for chests in general, but eternal chests. There you go. Look at that. I think they just spawn in here in general, actually. Because that one spawned in a bit of an odd spot. But it tapped out straight away again. Dude, they got to stop doing that. they got to stop doing that. I have to say, this version of this flora from God Mode, um, this version of the uterus, is... Uh, of a uterus, should I say, what I'm going to call it, is, like, pretty goddamn easy in terms of the room designs. There's a lot of flies. Oh, we got scapula or tumor head. I think we're going to go with tumor head here. Scapula doesn't really do too much for us. Yeah, we got some new enemies in here, look, but... Rooms like this. Very, very easy. Oh, dude, the game tricked me. Look at that. Looked like it was going straight towards the boss because of the compass. That ain't what was happening. Adam's rib. The fact that it does two times our tier damage is kind of wild. Which I realise is, at the end of the day, only the same damage as a fly, but it's instant the moment we hit them. And this tumor head thing's doing some good stuff as well. Got all those little black spores popping out of enemies. That's a regular chest there. Weird. A visual overhaul mod got an error there. I've never seen that before. A squeezy or whatever the hell that is. Taking damage, max, um, source. I'm just gonna take it and see what happens. Let's 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 take a little look at what that is. Where's the item I just got? Hell passive items. I am never gonna know. It's something to do with getting hit and firing beams of white light, I think. From what I from what I saw. I can definitely get down with that. It's it's pretty on theme right now. It's pretty on theme. I like on theme. The angel run keeps going. Oh, these little wall sphinx of things like puke out flies every now and again. I didn't notice that. Yeah, those bundles of uh, bundles of flies die very quickly. Okay, we've actually made our way to the boss now. That was a bit of a Bit of a long way of doing it, game. Bit of a long way around. An eternal heart there I really don't care for. We are going to get an eternal chest here, though. Oh, Thought I could wish it into existence. Ooh, interesting boss fight. Very easy boss fight for what we've got going on. Okay, so he's marked there. Ah, and then he dies and does that. Okay, that's pretty good. Converts two soul hearts in your health bar into empty burn hearts. Okay, that's reasonably good. I mean, Goat Head is a little, little bit lit. I'll, uh, I'll go with the plushie, why not? He's a cute guy. Yeah, I guess here. Goat Head, you, you've come quite a bit too late, to be honest. Okay. This one, we should be able to speed to the boss by the looks of it. But again, it might have tricked me. Fool me once. Oh, there we go. Eternal chest. Don't just crap out on me chest. Oh. I wonder what the chances are for it to give an item versus the chances for it to stop paying out. It seems like the chances for it to stop paying out are a lot higher, which obviously would be the case. I I'm not surprised by that, to be honest. This room has fooled me once again. Hey. 
Got a lot of luck pennies going. Increasing that chest we get. Dude, it, pay it pays out once and then taps out straight away. How dare you? What's going on with you guys? <laughs> the amount of fires you spawned underneath you was uh, quite insane there. They were like white hot rage. Dude, why is it why are the item rooms being the, the boss room, sorry, being so tricky? It's not where it seemed to be. Regular chest. How dare you game? Eternal chest, baby. Come on, pay out, pay out a few times, pay out a few times. Hey! We got holy ravioli. Um the player leaves a pink creep puddle. Uh, enemies that touch it are creeped. If an enemy is killed, it explodes. Into and in, it explodes and charms all nearby enemies. Yet more on hit things. We've got a lot of interesting on hit effects going on here today. Got one more boss left. Oh, nope, he's dead. Another eternal chest. Gimme, gimme. The amount of stuff you drop is exquisite. Not that I need all these keys, but thank you. Ooh, there's another item. Oh, we get the crucifix. I will take the crucifix. It's a pretty interesting one. I like it. Right, just try and stay close. Ooh, we got another item here from our little angel buddy. I'm doing damage. What you got for us this time? You're really, uh... Pushing the boat out here. Um, I've not done hush in a really long time. There's a lot of chests down here, so I'm going to give it a go. I didn't get any chests. I just got a pile of keys. I'm confused by that. What, uh, excuse, excuse me? What, what happened to my chests? <laughs> Ooh, Spirit of Acceptance. A little bit late, but I love it as an item. War Banner. Thank you. Interesting. There's the, the, some sort of overhaul to the blue floor. To the, to the, like, dead womb. I'm just getting a lot and a lot of red keys, I guess. Still opening the chest. It still goes. And it's over. So if I get uh, if this crack key, am I going to get another crack key in here? Okay, no, there's a boss there. Is that random? Or oh, is that planned? Lump of coal. Do you know what? I kind of like this idea with the... I mean, I absolutely wasted my initial cracked keys, my pile of keys. I don't really know what I was thinking with those. Let's be honest, that was pretty awful of me. But, eh, how was I to know that they were going to just spam into the ether? Right. Broken modem, not bad. We also got battery acid, which I don't know if that's going to help at all. That's pretty good, I like it. That's also pretty good. Wait, does that work with this? I don't even know. Am I am I firing three swords at once? Don't know what we're getting here. Damn it, I took the wrong one. Our first speed upgrade, though. And this door here, which... Do you know what? Literally entirely skipped Impsoda. Nice. I, mi I missed those items. Entirely skipped the hush fight there uh, by creating an error room door and got the items I wanted. So all in all, that didn't. That wasn't too bad at all. I liked that. That was very very glitchy. I'm d I'm down with it. God merge you, weird son of a bitch. Ooh, divine warmth. Interesting. What does that do? I I don't know. I think I remember seeing uh, Matman did a video on this item, and did, wasn't it something like um, you gain damage for every room you clear? Yeah, I just gain damage there, but if you get hit, you lose it. Something like that. 
I think it's something along those lines. I think it's hit by an enemy and then I lose it. We got a chest in here. Give me, give me, give me an item to believe in. Ah, oh, you bastard. That'll give me an item there. Boxing glove and mum's underwear. The range is actually still... I'm still happy with the range. Ooh, potential shoppies. Thank you. Item. Ugh, milk the... Milk. Oh, uh, also, I shall not spoil anything, but I was recently contacted by Slayer, the good old Isaac informational YouTuber who makes like all the videos about different mods and g game updates and stuff like that. Um, I was recently contacted by Slayer for something that I will not talk about, uh, but I was pretty happy to see that. It was pretty cool. Holy mantle, baby. Nice. Again, we're getting a lot of these items quite late, but not bad. Spirit of Acceptance is one that I should probably make a video on at some point. It's kind of wacky. I wonder if my chests at the end are going to be uh, all converted here. Oh my god. Big crits. There are some big crits going on right now. <laughs> Look at what is happening to this enemy here that just became a ball of of pure light. I'm not sure what, why my screen went so red there. Yeah, we got him, we got him. I actually don't want the eternal chest here. What is going on with those fires? I picked up the eternal chest anyways. Eternal chest, eternal heart, you know what I meant. I've said eternal chest so many times this run. It's all melding into one. So we did get one. You get out of here, you. Lawn darts, not bad. Lodestone. Tech X. The candle. Oh my lord, we got a lot of stuff there. And I think Tech X. Yes, Tech X does have a synergy. If we charge up, we fire a Tech X ring. Which I don't typically charge up, so that's not going to help too much, but... Little Gertie. That bad boy. Sunflower. Oh, wait, we know where the boss is. Where the hell am I going? That is a good question. Where the hell am I going? Some Mini Isaacs, lovely. I'm definitely going to do a Mini Isaac themed run. Also, by the way, someone in my Discord, uh, I, I apologize, I don't remember the, your Discord name, but someone in my Discord sent me over a bunch of different like curated runs like these, where it's like three, four modded items that work in, in tandem with one another. Maybe not all from the same mod, but to create like an interesting run that's, that's themed. If people have any ideas for stuff like that you'd want to see, please do join my Discord and let me know, or even just leave a comment. It'd be really cool to, to see what ideas you guys have for these sort of runs because even though they, they they tend to be quite overpowered obviously i just think they're fun to showcase some items and especially showcase the strange interactions between them so on protector of course we'd get goddamn curse the unknown good ah luckily i've got holy mantle doesn't bother me. I've actually got a lot less keys than I thought we'd have by now. <laughs> Cupid's arrow doesn't make much of a difference. Luminary flare, though. We like him. He 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 sits down and destroys. We got Bart here as well. Good old bag of shit. Mozzie's just taking forever to, to finally give in. Okay, we're just about done with this run. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, though. This was... This this one ended up getting wackier than I thought in terms of items. It was pretty fun, though. And we got some interesting synergies with uh, with our good old spirit sword towards the end here, ones I wasn't really expecting. I liked it. What is going on with all these shots right now? Is, th is, that, the, um, is that the shaker that's doing that? If so, keep doing it. You, are, you have my blessing to keep doing that. 
I'm trying to use Salvation, but I've not actually been hit on this floor yet, so my Salvation ring is tiny. I've just been hit on my Holy Mantle a lot. But either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Very fun indeed. A pretty interesting idea for a run. And yeah, see you guys.